First impressions. Apparently there's a new Batman film. I wonder if they've got anyone good to play in this time. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. I was going to open this Batman figure for the intro to this week's video, but what I thought I'd do instead, rather than ruin the packaging, is do it as this week's giveaway. So find out later on in the video how you can win this figure. And also, later on in this video, I'm going to be announcing who won last week's Aston Martin DB5. A couple of months ago, I did a trip to Birmingham video, which was us going to the trade show to get the shop set up. A couple of these things, like this thing here, uh, we actually bought at the show to sell in the shop. Before Christmas, I'd found this, which is a bat cave. And uh, I'm going to have to put this down, it's really heavy. It's not like a Chucky doll, though. It's not going to murder me at the end of the video or anything. So I'm safe this week. Yeah, I saw that in the shop and I thought that looks awesome. I think it cost me, yeah, 35 quid. But the one thing is, you can't just buy a bat cave without getting a Batmobile or a Batman and a Robin. So I did. Oh, don't forget you can win him later on. When we were in Birmingham, I saw this. Yeah, I saw this on display in a cabinet and I thought, got to have that in the shop. It looks epic. Now it is expensive. It retails at about 200 quid. Whereas most of this stuff, I think they're, well that was 35 quid. No, that was 35 quid as well. Um, I think 17 each. Now it took me a while to find these. I didn't get them all from one place. I had to hunt for them. But I think that's part of the fun of collecting, isn't it? Actually going to a shop, seeing these things, finding them, rather than just going click, 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 and it comes. Although that is quite exciting. And I do do that a lot as well. I do buy a lot of toys. What we are gonna do is we are gonna unpack these and take a look at them and you are gonna get a full and comprehensive product review of, I've forgotten what they are. You are gonna get a full and comprehensive review of these two epic Batman toys. So we're doing McFarlane, is it McFarlane? Yeah, so we are doing McFarlane Batmobile, Batcave, Batman and Robin versus Mezco Five Points, Batmobile, Batcave, Batman and Robin figures, the definitive comparison. Let's see which one's the best. So I'm going to get this out of the way and we're going to look at the McFarlane set first. You can't just have a bat cave on its own, you've got to have a Batmobile. I really like the packaging on this. I think it looks amazing and it made me want to buy it straight away. I think the packaging on these is amazing and they're really cool. So job done. Problem is when you get to the Batmobile, which is well, really, that should be the money shot, shouldn't it? And it's not. It's terrible packaging, and it's got all kind of feathered and picked. But there's no cover on it. Well, there's no rubber. Oh, that's good. That, that's to stop them getting broken, I bet. Yeah, those bits are kind of like a rubber. It's ages 12 plus, so it's not a toy for a young kid. What they've done is they've made it a kid's toy for adults my age. What I want to know is, how does it display? Does it display well? That really is terrible packaging. And I think that's the most important thing, is how, how well it displays. So take, I'm going to take this out of the box. Why is it fixed in? So the answer to the question, what was the first Bond car? It's the Al... I've forgotten. It's a sunbeam Alpine, isn't it? So the randomly selected winner of the James Bond car is... is Keith. Well done. I'll DM you in a bit and we'll get that shipped out to you. Let's get back to these epic Batman toys and soon you'll be able to find out how you can win that Batman figure too. It's kind of like the Palatoy 70s one a bit. Um, it's a bit plasticky, it's very basic, it's not very detailed, but I do love it um, because it's a Batmobile. I think the idea behind it is that adults like me go on a nostalgia trip back to the childhood. It's, it's brilliantly rubbish, if that makes sense. Right, I'm, I'm waffling about the car too much. I'm getting all emotional about that. Right, Robin next. Cape's a bit weird. There's Robin with his wham in his hand. Rid of them. Batman. Come on. Oh. Kapow Batman. Right, now for the bit I've been waiting for for months and months and months. It is to open this box. So what we think, figure's pretty good. Uh, Batcave's got to be half decent, hasn't it? Now, normally I would be doing this video at the shop, but I'm having to isolate at the minute, not because I am ill, but because in two days time, I am having surgery. A um, Couple of months ago, found a lump, lost my head a bit, got it checked out. There's absolutely nothing wrong, but they need to remove it. At least I'm not ill, but I've just got to have 
surgery to get this stupid lump out of my body. So next week's Toy Tuesday might be a little bit strange or late, so please forgive me. Doing things like this and reading your comments is what has helped me um, get through the fact that I might have been ill but I'm not, which is a massive relief. And if anyone is ill, my thoughts are with you. If you find anything, always go and get it checked out is the moral of this story. Right, I'm going to stop being all serious for a minute and I'm going to go back to being stupid about toys. This is a grown man getting excited about a kid's toy. But it's not a kid's toy, it's a toy for a kid my age. I, I guarantee it, no way this is meant for children, it's too much fun. Children should not be allowed to have fun. They should be made to suffer until they reach their adult years and then they can enjoy themselves. What am I saying? Yeah, this kind of fun should be reserved for adults. What we got? Back of the back cave. So we've got some packets with computers in. They put tissue around them to stop them getting scratched. Now they're just open bits of plastic with stickers on, which is how all toys should be. Um, they should give the illusion of awesomeness and add a little bit of disappointment, but still be cool. Um, and also easy to lose, so that the value of complete sets goes up in the future. B, what have we got here? USA and Canada crime photo file, international crime photo file. Wonder if I'm in there somewhere. It's a back computer. Memory bank, something I need at the moment. So they have made little drawers with handles, but instead of actually making them drawers that pull out, they just put a sticker over the top to make it look more like a drawer. And we've got some poles in here, and then that is everything unpacked. And we can start the assembly. I have no idea where these bits go. In fact, I have no idea where any of these bits go. Ladder goes in there reluctantly. So those are the bases of those. Have got anything else to assemble? Oh, I nearly broke that then. If this was a toy of the 70s, I would probably would have broke, probably would have broken most of it by now. Now when you watch a TV show as a kid and then you get the toy from the TV show, even if it just looks slightly like it, it's a brilliant, exciting thing. Forgot to put the fence bit in. And I think that all looks pretty fantastic. Yeah, that's taking me right back to the TV show. I know it's not perfect scale. I don't think the figures are too big. I think the Batmobile is way too small. Oh, I found another piece. And I think that's a cost issue because like I say, it costs 35 quid. But if you wanted this for display, I think it's fantastic. And it strikes a good comparison to the TV show as well. Right, it is time for, and I'm very excited about this, I'm really excited about this, for the Mezco Five Points. I'm gonna clear all this out of the way. And we're gonna take a look at the Mezco Five Points. Now it's the turn of the big box. I'm not sure if I did put it in the trip to Birmingham video, but it's one of the things that we saw there at the trade show. And it was on display, it was in a cabinet, under lights, and it looked amazing. And I thought that's something that we've got to have for the show. Oops. And I have to admit, it is 10 out of 10 for classic retro box artwork. And even when you open it up, there's a lot in this. Or there appears to be a lot in this. That's the Batmobile. So this is their version of a Batcave. I don't quite know how I feel about it. The other one's plastic. I mean, they're only hollow, but they are pretty cool. These are cardboard. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna look with the level of detail they've gone into with the figures. Why would you do a cardboard Batcave? The only reason I can think of is to fit it all in the box, but there's all the space underneath here where they could have put something 3D and plastic in. It's like it's a bit of an afterthought, really. The Batmobile. Oh, that's awesome. Already, already this is a much better Batmobile. In fact, what size is it compared to the other one? Because the figures in here look more like the Star Wars figure scale. That Batmobile is only maybe two inches longer. But this is smaller and has much better detail. You've got fire extinguisher, gear lever, some controls, a better looking steering wheel than that one. These are silver instead of just gray plastic and they've put the Batman logos in the wheel. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, that's awesome as well. So the back bit spins round and it has a flame in here that you can put in the back. Right, that's wicked. Yeah, I like that. There's a lot more than that. Has it got a boot compartment? Oh, that's a shame. Now, there is a boot compartment, but that could have done with a sticker with something in it. But yeah, if there was a sticker in there with a bit of detail in, that would be good, because the rest of the car is pretty good. 
Now, I can see it has a tire slasher at the front. Do I press that down to, was that a cable cutter, a rope cutter? I can't remember now. I should know these things. This is what lockdown's done to my brain. Release it. Yes, you do, look at that. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm just gonna unbox all this and then I'm gonna show you the figures up close. I mean, there are some awesome accessories. There's a lot of detail in here. And yes, it is double the price of that. And yes, the back cave is just a piece of cardboard, but they've spent the money on the finish. But the paint on this is fantastic. I've done a really good job of it. Oh, done, there we go. That's a lot of wasted empty space in the box, really, when you've unpacked everything. You could have had a little bit of better back cave in there. The box really doesn't need to be as massive as it is. Right, I'm gonna show you these figures because they're fantastic. So you've got Alfred, you've got Robin, you've got Batman, you've got interchangeable heads, you've got Batarangs, you've got Powers, you've got other accessories that I should know the names of and don't. You've got foot stands, which you don't get with the other ones. You've got a Joker, you've got a Penguin with a different head, you've got a Catwoman with a different head, you've got a, what's it called? You've got a Riddler with a different head. You've got two gold sticks, which every Batman kit should have. Oh, they must be the poles for the cave, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you've got two bat poles, you've got the flames for the car, and you've got a black stick that I don't know what it's for. Because, there are no instructions in this one either, which is weird. Oh, it's the, right, yeah. So that's the aerial for the back of the Batmobile. That's what it is. Oh, it's got the bat shield in it as well. That's brilliant. There's lots of little, very, very cool, quirky details in this. I managed to do that without losing any bits. Oh. He's got a rubber cape. Feels like a Sinclair Spectrum keyboard or a, like a one of those rubber calculator keys, the old ones that you used to pick out with a compass at school. He's not very good at standing up. It looks like he's having a wee. That's why you get base stands for him. There we go. He's rather awesome. What's the quality like? Now I'm going to say the detail on that is not bad, considering the size and scale of the figure. What does it look like in the car? Let's have a look. Right, he's in there pretty good. Let's take a look at Robin. Again, he's got the weird rubbery cape. It's flat across the bottom. The others were kind of cut in a weird way. Two instant moments of joy with this thing is one, you get a flame for the back. That just shoves in there. And then the other thing is, when you do that, it spins around with the wheels. That's brilliant, I love that. That's awesome. These, these have interchangeable heads as well, so. It looks like Alfred with welding glasses on, but I think it's a mask because he's in disguise. Let's put his ordinary head back in. The place where the pip goes into the leg for the stand is in the middle of the foot, not in the heel of the figure, which is not, is the word counterintuitive? As a Star Wars fan, you feel like you're breaking them doing that, which is weird. I'm gonna put the Riddler's head in. There are two heads because they're always better than one. I'm gonna put the one in with the, his mask on because I think that's a better, oh, it's a horrible noise. Better head to have in. These are, these are really nicely made figures. The Riddler's got a little bag of cash as well. Oh, you see why has Catwoman got two heads? They're almost the same. She's also kind of weirdly bandy and kind of cat legged and hit. Did Eartha Kit play Catwoman? It's got a little golden gun and a golden cat. Oh, the penguin's good. The penguin's really good. So coming out the end of the umbrella, you get a little cloud of gas, which is a nice touch as well. There's lots of nice little details with this set. You also get a penguin head with a bandit's mask on. Yeah, you only get one head with the Joker. The Joker figure is epic. I love little touches like the bat shield. I think that's awesome. So what I'm gonna do now, is that I'm gonna build this up. I'm gonna leave 
these flimsy bits of card for whoever buys this to build. They're a bit rubbish. I mean, they could have made those in 3D. I mean, they've gone to all the detail with these brilliant figures, which are really cool and really nicely done um, and have lots of little accessories. And then you put this, I mean, this is flip, this is a bit thicker, but these are really flimsy. Anyway, right, so I'm not impressed with those, so I'm not gonna build those up. This is the toy equivalent of building a pizza box. Join me shortly for this week's competition question so you can win this epic Batman figure. For now, what I thought I would do is a side-by-side -side comparison of the figures now they're all out of the boxes. And what I'll do is I'll cut in some close-ups of these so you get a chance to see them. There's quite a difference in size and scale between the figures, the Batman from McFarlane and the Batman from Five Points are a lot smaller than each other, even though there's not much difference in the size of the Batmobiles. Now, if McFarlane had taken the bottom of the seat out of this Batmobile, it's about a centimetre tall there, then he would sit in there and I think that would look a lot better. And this reminds me of the Mego toy from the 60s. And I think that's what I love about it. It looks like a toy. I think it's meant to look like a toy. I think it's meant for people like me to recognize this as the toy they had as a kid and buy it for display and enjoy it and love it. And it's shiny, it's cool. I mean, the bits are rubber, it's not particularly expensive, so I can forgive it a lot of its flaws. But I mean, again, these toys are meant to be brilliantly rubbish. The back cave is fantastic. The back cave with this one isn't as good, but the detailing on this is phenomenal. And don't buy this one for the back cave. And if you're listening five points, here's a quick tip for you. What you need to do is do an upgrade for your back cave. And uh, then you can sell another set of accessory lines and improve on it because you've got this so damn good. These figures are fantastic. I know they're a lot smaller, just a little bit smaller than Star Wars figures, really. The detail of them and the accessories that come with them and the Batmobile and the things that, uh, the moving parts on it that it has are just phenomenal. They're just fantastic. So if you upgrade your Batcave bit, then you've got an epic set. You really have. It's fantastic. But... Losing my voice. If you want something that looks like a 70s or 80s toy to display that has that retro appeal and um, that kind of cool look, then it's the McFarlane one because they've absolutely nailed it. They need to improve the packaging on the outer box for this. I mean, it's covered in dust again from being sat in the box and it's only been there for a couple of days. So they need to improve the packaging. The figures are great. I think the figures are good. They look like action figures. They're articulated, they're cool. They do sit too high in the car. Take the bottom of the seats out and it would be perfect and it would look a lot better. But it does to me look like a 70s toy and this looks like a collectibles toy and I think those are both the markets. So I think around 105 quid for this one and around 200 for that one. And please, 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 five points. Do an upgrade for your back cave and then this would be absolutely friggin' amazing. So, careful I don't knock anything over. So the question to win this Batman figure, if you Google who is the first person to play Batman, that is your answer. Put that in the comment section below with the sentence, who was the first Batman and the name, and then I will randomly pick someone next week to win this figure and I'll send it to you. Also, before I go, I'm five days out of surgery, I'm feeling a lot better. It's probably gonna be another two weeks before I do another Toy Tuesday, but I am working on something at the minute. Share your stories of your favorite toys in the comment section below, and I'll see you here soon for more Toy Tuesday. Thank you everyone, take care, you're wonderful people.